Hi guys, it's Harry here. I'm sure you could recognize some of the familiar faces in my background. They were leaders who fought for injustice, peace, equality and the spirit of enterprise. And were able to achieve their mission purpose in life and inspire others to do the same. Each and every one of us are indeed unique individuals. And we have stories within ourselves that we can share to the people around us about our life experiences and accomplishments. The reason we share our stories is that we can tell the world and the people around us to dream, to achieve and inspire. In this video, I've decided to pay a tribute to the legend and the late Karpal Singh, who is known to be one of the best criminal and constitutional lawyers in the country. And the 10 lessons from my personal observations that we can learn from him. If you'd like to know more about his personal life and story, you may get a copy of his book, Karpal Singh, The Tiger of Jirutong. Stay tuned. These are the 10 lessons that we can all learn from him. Develop an unshakable character. One of the most important things in life that you must do is to develop an unshakable character. You must be a man of principle and fight for what you believe in. Not for personal gains or glory, but for what is right and is justifiable. Always stand your ground, be principle oriented and develop a sense of integrity. Integrity is the basis of all achievement in life as it will serve as a solid and long-lasting foundation towards all your achievements that you desire. But always be aware that you do not fall for temptations or use dirty tactics to manipulate those around you in life. A man who walks with integrity always walks securely in life. People cannot walk all over you unless you let them. Karpal was known as a man of an unshakable character and he stood firm by all his principles in life. Become a fearless tiger. As ferocious as he might have been, he portrayed that you need not be arrogant in life. He was known as a man with a fighting spirit. You can detain him physically, but you cannot detain or break his spirit. The Japanese would call him or classify this as the man with a samurai spirit. Which would you rather live by? Would you rather live a life as fearless as a tiger or as fearful as a mouse? He also showed us to question authority as authority is always not right by default. Karpal was a man who obeyed the laws, but he showed us that in order to succeed, you must be willing to push the boundaries ahead and break ranks and the system. If you want to be brave, then you must be able to act with courage. Courage requires you to bring people up at the same time and not put them down in order to rise. Learn to take responsibility. Blaming others can be an easy way out, but a great leader takes responsibility over their actions. You must remember that no one owes you a duty apart from you yourself, whether it is good or bad. A leader is someone who does not deny his mistakes, instead he accepts his responsibility. If you face a problem, face it and deal with it, but don't run away from it. Accepting responsibility has been said to be one of the highest forms of human maturity. It is the willingness to feel accountable and to put yourself on the line. It is also a sign to say that you can depend on me and this is a standard that I live by. Being responsible also means that you're not willing to be reckless with yourself and also not to put the other person at risk. Develop yourself. Karpal has also showed that formal education can only take you so far as they only reveal that you have achieved the required knowledge in the simplest form. He was a naughty student and only received a third class honours law degree from the University of Singapore but he proved to be a first class practicing lawyer in the country. This must be clear that in order to succeed in life you must be willing to work hard and improve yourself continuously. Self-education must play an important role in your life where you should develop good social skills, learning from your own experiences, from the wisdom of others and most importantly from your own mistakes. You must remember that self-education is far more important than any paper qualifications that you can obtain. As Jim Rohn once said, formal education will make you a living but self-education will make you a fortune. Be a role model for others to follow. As a role model, you must continuously keep the moral high ground that is entrusted upon you. It teaches one to be a better person in life. 
It sets you apart from the rest and sets a very high standard of behavior among the rest in terms of honesty, decency, kindness, and forgiveness in whatever circumstances that you may be in. It can be a difficult task, which can be quite tempting as we live in this physical world. But you must never deviate and you should nurture control and never sink to a lower level of consciousness which could diminish your dignity. Karpal had a great deal of balance between work and family life and he was able to develop and train his children to be prominent lawyers themselves. He has set high moral values at his work ethics and also with his family relationships. Through this, he was able to inspire many of his colleagues, associates, trainees and many other individuals around him to think highly upon him. Practice the art of humility. Do not let your arrogance outstrip your humility. The attribute of humility seems to be neglected in this material world that we live in. There are some people who, when become successful, tend to forget where they started from. Their ego and sense of arrogance seems to take over and tend to become a narcissist. Humility is a great attribute that every great leader should have, as it allows us to learn from our imperfections and to acknowledge our mistakes and to learn from them without keeping any grudges. Humility allows you to develop strength when you are able to perceive your own shortcomings. It maintains pride but without arrogance about what you have achieved in life. This was another attribute that he had. He has always remained humble despite having huge success in life. He was a true gentleman who listened and introduced himself to the people. He greeted them with warm gesture of kindness and humility and he did not take people for granted. Respect is earned, not demanded. Everyone has the right to be respected. But in the world that we live in today, things have changed and you are only able to gain respect by the things that you do. Leaders who gain respect are those who are passionate about what they do by showing their commitment for their cause. Leaders are also those who demonstrate confidence and competence in what they do. They are also effective in engaging with people to bring about change. Leaders are those who have the ability to assume responsibility to be great in life and not wait for someone to bestow them with a title or approval to get something done. Karpal was an effective leader and he showed that you do not need any title to take on any responsibility to get things done. And through this, he gained the respect from many citizens and his honour will lie in the hearts of many in many years to come ahead. Overcome adversity Adversity is more than just one difficulty or setback. It can be seen as a series of hardships or misfortunes that you face in life. From his early upbringings to his detention under the Internal Security Act to his accident that caused him to be paralyzed from waist down from 2005, he was a man of resilience and adversity had taught him the art to survive and thrive. They are not quitters and they persevere to the very end to inspire others around them with their personal positive mental attitude despite going through very difficult times. Help others along the way. Napoleon Hill was a true believer in this rule that you can only succeed best by helping others achieve what they want. This paraphrase is so simple yet profound but not many people really do it. Helping people does indeed give you a strong positive self-image and it can also make you feel good about yourself. Karpal gave his life to the people to protect and defend those who had been improperly treated both politically and legally. He was the voice of the voiceless and the weak. He believed in service to mankind irrespective of their race, gender or creed. He was never motivated for money to the extent he had even defended his clients without taking a single cent from them. Many expressed that he was a hero who demonstrated true humanity for the people that he cared and that he served. He was colorblind and saw everyone as individual human beings where he had a sense of responsibility to serve humanity. Leave a legacy. Living a life worth the legacy that you have fought for. Karpal knew what matters most and he stood by his principles to defend the civil rights of the people. He was not fully armed, neither with power or titles, but for his deep legal knowledge, 
his principles, integrity, and his wittiness. He has left us as the champion for a cause, and we will remember him in history for all the fights and struggles that he has gone through. In the court of law, we are judged by the judge, but in the world that we live in, we are judged by the court of public opinion. The spirit lives on to fight for what is right. But the ultimate rule in life is that people cannot condemn the good things that you do. If you like this video and the 10 principles that I just shared with you, please take a minute to share this with your friends. Thanks for watching.